What is going on, y'all? It's your boy Nick. Welcome back to Nick's Dynasty. Today is a very special day, another start of a challenge. This challenge is going to be for a week. We're going to eat low sodium. The daily average recommended amount of sodium is around 2,000 milligrams. So we don't want to be average, we don't want to be lower. So to challenge ourselves, we're going to try um, to eat. 1500 milligrams and uh, below if this seems to be uh, a little bit too challenging or um, not reasonable I may bump it up to 1800 but I definitely want to be under that 2000 milligrams and 1500 would be a nice challenge um, one of the main reasons I want to do this is not necessarily it is like a health thing but it's more of a physique uh, I know that sodium retains moisture in your body, retains water in your body, it kind of bloats you, and I kind of want to see if I cut down the sodium, will I become more cut, more lean, and a little bit more ripped? That is my main goal, but when you do cut sodium, that will help your body as far as blood pressure, um, keeping your heart healthier. Um, it'll help you be a little bit lower risk of stroke and other cardiovascular disease. So there will be definitely health benefits to this. But my main goal is to see what it's going to do to the physique of my body. I like to see if I can get tighter abs and maybe a sc more sculpted face. So this challenge is about to start. I will run up. Um, statistics or photos of what I look like before and also what my weight is before um, and stay tuned I'll show you things that I eat I'll let you know how I feel let you know how challenging this is gonna be uh, it's gonna be an exciting time so I downloaded an app to keep track of my calories but basically to give me the nutrients that I'm eating just for sodium to be exact and just off of one meal from this one day when I first downloaded it, I had 700, uh, 1,700 milligrams of um, sodium. So that's not good for this challenge. Uh, I probably had some type of processed foods, and that's where a lot of sodium comes from. If we scroll down... You'll see I had some chili, uh, brioche bun. I think that's uh, the main source of the sodium that I had. This uh, two buns that I had had over 560 milligrams of sodium. And then when I had a full day of, you know, not being super mindful of what I eat, I had over, let's see... 4,500 milligrams. I believe I had a lot of pizza this day. So, and uh, this, uh, even a meal that's already like supposed to be healthy and it's frozen meal, it had about 682.0 milligrams. So, I see from last week when I was doing a trial run, I just need to get away from processed foods. Of course, prepackaged foods. Yeah, so this is a, a good point of reference. It's going to be a little bit challenging. Uh, so stay tuned. So after you saw the breakdown of my week previous, I was doing a little bit of uh, research to see how much soda I'm actually eating. I'm realizing that I'm going to actually have to cook a lot and be mindful of the things I eat and when I eat them. This is going to be a fun time because it's going to force me to be creative, to cook more, which is, I love cooking, I just haven't had time to do. It's just going to push me to maybe even make healthier choices all together, like my sugar intake might go down, fat intake might go down, but this challenge is to see what happens, and that's what we're going to do. going to check my weight for day one. Weight's not the most important thing that I'm um, focusing on, but I'm going to check it anyway just to see where we start. Around 163.4. So this is me unflexed.
This is me flex. So ideally, at the end of this challenge, I want to look more like unflexed. So we'll see. And this is what my face looks like before the challenge starts, or the first day of the challenge. First meal, half a cup of old fashioned oats, oats meal, boiled egg, and one scrambled egg because this egg was cracked and if I boiled it, it would have been not so good, but I'm a little bit pressed for time, so I'm not sure if I'll eat all of it, but this is what I cooked. Uh, only sodium is gonna be from the milk and there's a little bit of sodium in this. I'll do a breakdown of my sodium intake at the end of the day. Yo, look how healthy I'm eating. Ground turkey and just vegetables and the plate is full. I'm thinking about it, I'm trying, I'm trying this. Day one, 531 milligrams. Dang, that's really low, but yeah, that's what it was. 1,338 milligrams. So day one actually went by pretty good. Probably because I had more protein than day two. In the morning for day one, I had oatmeal and two eggs, which is a good amount of whole grains and protein. And actually for lunch, I actually was able to eat a burger and that burger filled me up for a good bit of time. But day two, no meat for breakfast, no meat for lunch. I had oatmeal for breakfast and during that work period, I was thinking about food, thinking about food. My stomach was doing this, my stomach was doing that. I did have some peanut butter, a little bit of peanut butter uh, to get some protein, but the majority it was vegetables and a little bit of grain and my stomach was bubbly. My stomach was going through withdrawal. Kept thinking about food, kept thinking about food. Got back to the office and there was like some pretzel bites there with peanut butter, but I was like, oh no, sodium's in this, I can't do it. When I got home, the first thing I did, cooked up some food, filled that plate up and I feel a little relieved, but I feel very taxed. I don't know if that was the work day or this, my body of withdrawal from sodium, but I'm feeling some type of way right now. And we have dinner again. Today, day three was actually better than day two. I actually only worked for about two hours, so that um, helped a lot. So I was able to be in an environment afterwards where I could be around food that was adequate for the diet. At work, I was next to a Mexican food truck, and what I did was I got something off me. I just said, could I get rice, chicken, and pico de gallo? Since all of this was homemade, it was a little hard to get exact uh, sodium content, so on the app I'm using, I just did homemade pico de gallo, and I, I looked up the serving size and see what was close to what I did, and that meal actually lasted me pretty while, a long time went out and played some sports after that and I felt pretty good actually came back did some work and I had my dinner a little bit later so I wouldn't be super hungry before bed and you know now I was trying to go to sleep so day three pretty good day two not good at all 1247 all right this is a little more than halfway let's see how much we weigh and I have lost some weight I'm at 159.8 1,494. Eating some steak at work. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, 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 oh! Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I Whoa. marinated it so nice in there. That's the marination in there. <laughs> it's done. It's done. It's perfect. 
So Saturday wasn't so bad yet again, probably because my body had a kickstart of sodium. I was doing some research to see how much sodium was in fries and see how much sodium was in certain meat. So while I was at work, there was a food truck next to us and I got an Italian beef, no bun. But I put the meat on some fries and I only ate half, a little bit half of the fries and gave the rest away. So that was a um, decent amount of sodium in that, still under 1500 milligrams, but that meal kind of made me pretty full. So once I got back from work, all I really did was have a bowl of oatmeal and there wasn't too much sodium in there, probably just a tiny bit of fraction in the raisins because I used water this time. So that kind of made the day a little bit easier on Saturday, even though I was working all day. That jump start of sodium and that kind of heavy meal just made me, ooh. 1,329, 1,283. So on this last day, I actually only had one meal. And it was a bit hard to track because I went to Ethiopian food and it's not as popular. So on this app, it was I'm not sure if everything's accurate, but where it stands is that I'm at. 1,536. I almost made it under. Who knows how accurate this is, but still not too bad. Final day. Let's see what's up. One sixty-one. This is after the challenge, and this is me unflexed. This is me flexed. So for the average for the whole week, the average is about 1,255 milligrams of sodium. So we're well under that 1,500. Looking at everything else, things seem to be pretty good as far as the macro. Decent amount of protein. Wish I could have more. So sugar seems like to be what I've been eating the most of as far as the whole line the biggest amount but other than that we're not having too much carbs which is what I'm kind of looking for um, the total fat is actually well below uh, what is projected or goal or left so all in all we ate pretty healthy besides the sugar. The sugar is still below the goal, which is always good. It was just the seems to be the majority of our macros. As you can see, this is the little chart looking at majority of carbohydrates that includes the sugar. We're over on fat as far as average goal. Then we're under on protein, which is not always the best, but this is what everything looks like for here. Ignore the goal. That is, um, if I was trying to, that was set up for me to gain weight as far as muscle, whatever, or gain weight but we weren't necessarily dealing about weight, but averaged about 15, over 1,500 um, calories, which is under the daily recommended value. Cause you could say that's pretty good if you were looking to you know, lose weight or whatever, but all in all, it looks like I ate pretty well as far as calorie amount. All right, so this challenge is over. My whole feelings about it is it 
actually wasn't too hard. The only problem is like what I do like double shifts. Um, kind of don't have like great food on hand to bring as snacks. So basically the day that I did like struggle, which was probably a Tuesday or whatever, is I only had carrots and a little bit of peanut butter and maybe some other snack and that wasn't sufficient. So basically my body was like craving food. I don't know if it was necessary soda, but it was just crave food. I didn't pack enough because I'm like, I didn't have enough low sodium items to bring. I f found out that you actually can enjoy some of maybe your normal foods. Like I had french fries, I had a steak. Um, that steak actually didn't have too much sodium in the fries. You know, it was under a thousand, I think it was under 700 milligrams. So I was actually still had a decent amount for the rest of the day. Um, it looks like the best thing to do is to eat maybe low sodium for breakfast and to be able to not worry for the rest of your meals like starting your day off with oatmeal and uh, eggs that's a good sort of protein also you're still getting that whole carbs now be able to keep you fuller for longer and that doesn't have too much uh, sodium so all in all, like my body, I feel pretty good. My cardio, I didn't really run too much, but you know, I'm a little out of shape, so I did breathe hard, but I, I, I do tip, feel good. And I, I've been rubbing my stomach a little bit during this whole weekend. It's, it feels tired to me. I think I did get some definition. My uh, physical therapist said I probably wouldn't see too much changes. I'd probably lose weight, which I did lose weight. It lost about two pounds. But I did see a very minute amount of uh, more definition after the end of this challenge. I think what will make this actually do really well is to just continue to eat low sodium, but also to you know lift weights harder. Like grow those muscles and that low sodium that uh, you know is getting pushing out some water will like pop out more. Since I did see some more, a little bit more definition, just a little bit. But if I had worked out a little bit harder, it would have been pretty pretty good. So basically, what I saw was a little bit of weight loss. Probably it's you know water weight, of course, because sodium retains water and basically we could say a little bit more healthy eating definitely mindful of looking at the nutrition facts and my calorie intake was actually much lower than it usually is so that's good for those who wants to lose weight uh i don't know if this is like something people should try as far as you know wanting to lose weight to be healthier but Doing it actually result in it in being a bit healthier because you're actually looking at everything, checking everything, comparing everything to see like what you can and can't do. So in that aspect, going low sodium made me more aware of what I was putting in my body. But was it did the results are they like great? They're all right. And it's always a starting point. But yeah, this is my week of going low sodium. My face is probably the same. I don't think you could tell anything on that, but you can see a little bit more tightness on my abs. But yeah, this is a fun video. I wanted to try it, see what happened. And this is what happened. It's your boy, Nick. Stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment below what you think. This is a waste of time for me. Whatever. Peace.